Welcome, Dr. Katoj. Thank you for making the time to be here. And you made it right on time as you are chairing this session and are to deliver the very next set of opening remarks. Uh, sir, you are Honorable Secretary in the Department of Health Research and Director General of the Indian Council of Medical Research in the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India. It's my pleasure now, sir, to welcome you to give some opening remarks. Well, I must say that I'm extremely happy to be here this afternoon. I just thought I'd be missing it, but I could make it. Now let me say a nice occasion to sit together with my other colleague, Sheila Bhavanji, and also Dr. Reddy. On a subject, you know, which is very interesting, but very complex. Because when you think of, you know, managing the health services, the education, research in a very comprehensive manner. I think this is the subject becomes, I think, we'll be open to the interpretation of everyone. The problems have always been there, the systems always have been there. And the, there was always a very simple way of defining the problems out here. If you look at the, how the diseases have been tackled over the years, over the ages. Simple questions, simple solutions, simple answers, and hard work. But that's not the question today, actually, though. Because with those simple questions, answers, we could achieve major successes wherever the people were honest in doing it and the conditions were right. <coughs> if they failed, then the question arises, why we failed? And, you know, those failures are, I think, glaring in front of us in our country. The successes are also there. So they all tell you know, that same masala, same ingredient, but the, the, the final preparation is different and the outcome is different. So I think they are the systems play the critical role actually and the policy which drives their systems or the systems which drive the policy, they play the part there. Now where we start the discussion, where we end the discussion, I think that's again becomes a very tough game. We will be today listening to the keynote from the person who heads the entire system at the moment, the services, the education. So ultimately, what, what they are doing, they also face the same question which I said, that why they succeed, why they fail, don't fail, why they fail. Sometimes they have very broad understanding, but at the micro level, they all grapple. And there this debate should lead to actually, what is the problem? Are the ingredients wrong or the they are not suitable to a particular milieu, a particular environment. I think that analysis, I think, is the key, actually. Problem arises, you know, when we try to make it more complicated and more complicated. In the name of science, you know, sometimes like the same way we do for the Sanskrit, actually. When the entire understanding of the religion is Sanskritized, actually. That looks very nice. You know, the person who speaks Sanskrit, he looks very nice. You think he is an intellectual, okay? But the point is, he may have very poor intellect, number one. And the, and the second point arises, that becomes much more difficult for others to practice. So now in today's context, you know, when you lay a policy and you even generate the data actually, you connect people with the technology, because tools are too many. The current context is, the understanding of the systems is a, in the interplay of too many factors. Too many technologies, too many factors, too many models. Now, out of that, here you try to just oppose this, you try to find a solution, you try to find an answer, actually. It becomes even more complex. So I think the key remains, if you, whatever the intellectuals or the specialists, whether they're dealing with health economics, health policy, they deal with the they health professionals, clinicians, parent, uh, the public health people, that if, 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 if the things are very simple, you know, then ultimately there will be too many people, there will be a large number of people who will be able to make the inputs into a system. And based on that, you are able to get some simple answers which the common practitioners can use. And there will be the Secretary of Health and Family Welfare also will be very comfortable in prescribing to others. You know, ultimately the final prescription will come from him or his, his system. So the knowledge generation should be simplistic enough. It should not be made sanskritized to an extent which is there is a tendency to do it. And the secondly, then the solutions which emerge out of it. Again, they are straightforward. Because 
complicating the things more and more, more and more is not providing solutions. You may be turning better and better intellectual, maybe publishing better papers with better policy issues, but other than that, people are not convinced with that. I think that's that's a challenge actually. That's a challenge for this entire kind of debate. The researchers also should be focused on that only. I think there's a long way to go, but certainly what has happened in the last couple of years, and uh, India is also in the form of a change, major change, and we look forward to with optimism to this this kind of a process, which is very important. I can actually talk already in all this actually steering this entire process in this country for quite some time. As an individual, as a person who, who created institutions and, uh, and contribute to the developing scenario in this country of the public health, I think this is contribution to the level and uh, this I think you will see a lot of input from his setup plus of course the setup from the different stakeholders. I won't welcome to everyone but I think this is a big challenge to move ahead. It's not a simple game but it should be made simple. I'll, I'll now invite Dr. Mandi to take this in the stage.